Modesto, uh, it seems like you have been here forever, but you're actually still very, very young. Uh, there's a lot of eyes on you, uh, a lot of uh, attention on you, a lot of people who actually want to see how are you developing. How is it to be you? Um, I'm trying to not think about all this and uh, yeah, it looks like I've been here for many years, but it's because uh, I played many European championships uh, from uh, under 13. I did, I did uh, good results in Europe, then uh, uh, good results in the, the world stage with uh, the juniors. So uh, I'm trying to, to now uh, make my place in the, the senior cup. How, where, where is your place right now, as far as you see it? Um, I think I'm uh, right now. My place is to to fight to have my place in the top uh, in the world. So uh, right now it's difficult to to get there because I don't have many tournaments to to prove uh, that I have the level. Um, we will see when uh, I get the chance to play again uh, single and. Uh, I have to be ready to to make good results and uh, to make it uh, quick to the top 32 to be able to play uh, the biggest tournaments and uh, to play against the best. Is that the main goal right now, top top 40, top 30, to yeah. to make sure? It's the main goal right now to do uh, as many tournaments as possible in single and uh, to get uh, as many points also uh, as possible. Uh, to play against the best, uh, to to compare myself and uh, with the others. And uh, I think it's the same for my brother. Now, uh, he did this years, these difficult years when uh, he had to, to prove uh, that he had the level. And right now, he, he showed that he can beat uh, top in the world. Like in Orleans, uh, in Orleans he, he won. So yeah, I think I'm in this uh, kind of period when uh, I have to, to train even harder and uh, just to make my place in the top. We have seen Thomas doing very well. Uh, as you said, he won all along, and, and we have seen him delivering good result. Do you feel that that put any pressure on you? Because there's no no question. When when I speak to people, they say Thomas is a talent, but so is Christo. Uh, they can be the best in the world, both of them. But but we have now seen that Thomas is actually doing quite well. He won some uh, junior tournaments, uh, European championships, which you also won now. Uh, do what what kind of pressure does that put on you? Uh, yes, uh, there is pressure, but it's a good pressure. And uh, um, when he's doing good, it makes me even more motivated and uh, training even harder to, to be better than him. And I think uh, we had some period uh, in the last past uh, years where I did like one year better than him. Uh, the other the other year uh, he did better than me. It's like uh, we are stepping stepping up uh, each other and uh, uh, the. Um, the fight between us, it's a good fight when we are pushing uh, each other uh, to the top. So, uh, yes, uh, right now he, he did very well and uh, it, it gave me even more uh, like the, the rage of winning and uh, to, to show that I also have my place there. But Christo, you say that you want to be better than Toma. Um, I have a brother and a sister as well. We don't compete. But but we also hang out and we talk about our family. We have a good time. We go to the movie, whatever we can do. Are there room for you guys also to do that, or is it one hundred percent competition? No, uh, as you said, we we do all the things. Uh, we have family, and uh, also we have uh, we go we hang out uh, with friends. So uh, uh, especially from our club and uh, others from schools. So. Uh, uh, we we separated well our life in badminton and uh, and uh, out of badminton and family. Uh, of course, it's uh, tricky because also my father is our coach and uh, uh, all my family is in badminton. Uh, also my uncle. Uh, so yeah, we we talk mostly we talk about badminton, but uh, also there's family and uh, school. Uh, I'm also going to school. My brother is in school too. So we we have everything. It's not only 100% badminton. Christo, you're young, so is Toma. Uh, we will for hopefully see you a lot of years uh, for, from now. But but when we look at 2021, uh, we are recording this in Kiev. That's no secret. Um, we don't see you playing the singles here, but we see you guys play doubles together. Uh, you played the first match, that's, that's fine, and you will play the second one tomorrow, and that's fine as well. But but knowing that you are here in a category which you would actually like to be in men's singles instead. 
Uh, Thomas is here in both. How is that? Yeah, if, um, of course, it's mm, like a, not a bad situation for me, but uh, of course, I prefer to, to play only men's singles than only men's double here because it's my main focus and uh, that's my goal to be top in the men's single. Uh, but um, it's also good to be part of the championship uh, because uh, right now I don't have my place in men's single. I wasn't uh, high enough in the ranking to to be uh, able to compete here. So, uh, but it's uh, it's also good to be in these tournaments, uh, like uh, during the the past tournaments, like All England and the other tournaments where I can go in in single, but I'm in in double. So it's also. I can get used to the atmosphere and uh, to get to get used to the big holes and the, the very big tournaments, the important uh, tournaments. So, uh, uh, of course, I prefer to play men's singles, but uh, it also can be uh, one of the uh, preparation for the future, even if it's not in men's single. So I, I hope uh, in the next uh, years I will be playing single in this tournament. But, but Christo, I'm, I'm also thinking, and, and we've talked about that before, uh, a lot of times, actually, when when I see you guys uh, in the draw, and I see you and Toma in singles, and I see you two together in doubles, I'm thinking, okay, maybe this is the last time we see this. Maybe the next time is the last time we see this, because at some point you might need to make that call, right? Because if if you want to be the best in singles, can you then also be continuing playing double? Uh, for the moment, uh, we have never seen that, so. Uh uh, like I said, uh, the the past few uh, interviews, uh, for the moment we are trying to, to do both and uh, we'll try uh, to the very end <laughs> until we can't do it anymore. Uh, for the moment, uh, Tom is doing, uh, my brother is doing good results uh, in men's single, even if we're playing double. So uh, for the moment, uh, I think we can, we can risk uh, our men's single for playing double. And also, we're showing good results in men's double. So, uh, of course, we'll be dreaming of going to the Olympics in both categories, which is really hard. But, uh, yeah, at some point, we will have to, to choose. But, but Christo, what is the most important for you? Uh, to make it to Paris in doubles? Or that Toma makes it in singles and you don't make it at all? What would you prefer? Would you like to see Thomas successfully in singles and he makes it to Paris 2024? Or would you rather see you two go together and none of you go in singles? You don't understand what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think it would depend on uh, if we can't make it to in single and we have a chance in double, why not? And uh, of course, uh, I prefer to go in both categories, like in double and men single for my brother or men single for me. But uh, I think uh, it would depend on our chances. And uh, I think we will try everything for the men's single. Then uh, if at the end uh, it doesn't work and uh, we have chances in double, why not playing double? Uh, but for the moment, um, France doesn't have that big pair of double which uh, make it to the Olympics. So it could be us. But uh, in the new... in the Next few years, maybe a, a pair will show up and uh, make it harder, harder for us and make it to the Olympics. So I think it will depend a lot of the few years which uh, we go on. We have an Olympics in, in Tokyo, uh, hopefully. Uh, we never know with this pandemic uh, in 2021. Uh, Paris 2024, of course, it's a big thing, thing for, for all French players. But how much do you actually think about Paris? 2024, like on a daily basis, is still quite far away. But after Tokyo, it's actually only three years. Uh, from my own po point of view, and uh, for my brother, it's like tomorrow, because uh, uh, yes, it's in uh, 2024. But uh, the year before the Olympic qualification year, you have to to be like really good in the ranking to to be seeded in the, those tournaments in the qualification year to make it uh, to the Olympics. And it's very, it's very important uh, the two years before the Olympics. So, uh, and it's like in one year. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's tomorrow and uh, it starts like right now. I mean, uh, especially for me and my brother, we are not in the top 32. 
we if everybody plays in the big tournaments, we're not in. So for us, it starts right now. I can do it, and uh, I know if everything go well and I help it will, uh, I can make it. So for me, it's just uh, put everything on it and uh, yeah, be one hundred percent focused. I remember Christo, we spoke uh, three years ago actually when when I found that interview where you told me that you had a goal that said I want to win a good a, a Olympic medal in Paris uh, and I want to win the world championship one day. Uh, is that still the ambition or has have you scaled up or, or probably more down? Yeah, for me it's to win the two biggest medals ever, so Olympics Games and the World uh, Championship. Yeah. And crazy to think about that we actually also have a world championship in Paris coming up. So yeah, just yeah. next year, yeah. So you might actually have a chance for both? Yeah, and, uh, so. and in Paris, so yeah. yeah. But, but Christo, when you say that, and I think it's admirable, I think it's fantastic that you have ambitions, but it makes you believe that it's you who can actually win the gold medal at the Olympics and the World Championships, because uh, as far as I can see, there's only one or two players who have done that recently. That's uh, Chen Long and then that. In men's singles, of course. Yeah, uh, today the men's single is very, very tough. And uh, there are more and more good players uh, in the men's single. Uh, before, uh, if you were like top 20 or top 30, it's, well, it was very rare to, to see uh, one of these players win against the top five in the world. But today we can see lots of players which are not in the top 30 uh, pl uh, winning against top 10 in the world. So I, I think uh, the chances today that I win a gold medal will only depend on me. And uh, I believe in myself and uh, also in my brother. <laughs> So uh, I, I think we, we will both uh, do good in Paris. I, I think we, we can make it to just the Olympics and uh, just in Paris, uh, maybe I will be like young, uh, I'll be 21, 22 to, to play the Paris. So maybe I will be young, but I will try my best to, because that's my goal. And uh, just after there is a world championship, like uh, we said uh, in Paris. I think it will only depend uh, on us, and uh, we believe in ourselves, and uh, we believe we can make it. Christo, of course, in, in the sport of badminton, a lot of people are looking at you, uh, also people looking at Thomas. Um, but with, with the Olympics coming up in Paris the next time, if we count away Tokyo, um, there will be a lot of also nationality uh, interest in you from, from the French people. Uh, how are you prepared uh, for that? Because we, I, I hear a lot of times that Oh, players get uh, ner more nervous, more distracted, more everything when they get closer to Olympics, especially on home soil, because the attention is so massive. H how do you prepare yourself to, to handle also in the qualification period up to it? Yeah, uh, I think it will be a new thing for, for me, because we never had a big event uh, in France. Uh, we only had the Yonex International in Paris. And I never played before, so I think it will be like a new thing for me. And uh, of course, uh, as you said, it could be very difficult because you will be distracted and nervous. But uh, I will try to to make it uh, to to do everything I can to be focused on the Olympics because uh, the main focus isn't the like attraction and like media. It will be the Olympics. So. Uh, that's just another side of the Olympics, and the main focus it will be the game. And uh, I think I will try to to make it uh, most of the time focusing on the game. Bristol, uh, one of the questions uh, we we receive a lot when we ask our fans to to ask questions to the players is often, uh, who has been the inspiration? And I, I would actually like to pass that on to you, but because. Uh, you're still very, very young, so so some of those who might have been inspiration to you is actually somebody that our fans know. So so who has been the biggest inspiration for for you so far? You mean as as a player? Yeah. Uh, in badminton, uh, I think uh, there's many players who we can admire, and uh, Lyndon uh, uh, was one of them because uh, yeah, left-handed, two times Olympic uh, champion and five-time world champion. I think he achieved uh, something that uh, maybe nobody will achieve anymore. And uh, of course, I hope somebody will achieve that, but it's very difficult to do it. And uh, he did it. 
but also some other players uh, like Lee Chong Wei who made who make it to the top and uh, be able to be in the top for like maybe 15 years it's amazing and uh, but also other players from other sports uh, uh, I watch uh, I watched basketball with M Michael Jordan I love his personality and his uh, hard work um, but I, I think yeah there's always somebody from one sport it could be tennis like Roger or football like Ronaldo uh, in one sport you have uh, every time one uh, person or two who are very dedicated to the sports and uh, very hard workers a few years ago I uh, spoke to Carolina Marin who said uh, I want to have more and better medals than uh, Lindan uh, are you aiming for the same is that the next goal for you I also have two more to have more titles than Lindan because that's quite ambitious I would say yeah and uh, she is right to do it. Uh, I mean, uh, right now, if you have to, if you want to make history in badminton, you have to to be better than the others. And right now, to be better than Linden, you have to be to to do at least five-time world champion and a two-time Olympics. And uh, she is uh, <laughs> quite uh, very close, and uh, she can make it. Yeah, for the moment, I think first step is to to get it uh, one time and then uh, think about the other times. Christo, thank you very much for coming. I wish you all the best of luck in uh, achieving everything, reaching Paris, although I know we will be talk before that, uh, but thanks for, for coming. Yeah. And thanks for uh, watching the BC podcast. Go follow Christo on social media. He is actually quite good on social media, so, uh, so give him a like and, and follow and see what he's doing. And thanks for also watching the podcast from Badminton Europe. Yeah.